Welcome to the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. But before I get into it, I do need to take just a quick second to thank all my members. I really, really appreciate your ongoing support. I have various different tiers. If you want to support me, become a member, you're more than welcome to. The link will be down below. We have a great time. I will notify you of my schedule ahead in terms of uploading and filming. I do members only live streams. I upload videos once a week that are just for members only. Usually things like recipes or training. There are channel emojis and many more things. Whilst I appreciate that not everybody is in a position to join a membership, the ones that have joined, I really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me that you believe in me this much as a content creator and I do my best to give back to you. On that note, now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known for Car Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. Oh, look at that! It's looking pretty good at that. Today, we're gonna look at a video by Learn Learning To Be Fearless. Fearless. Fearless, Alexandra Rodriguez, uh, is what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers. So I don't really know much about her. Some people are saying that she is, she started on the weight loss journey, but apparently she's not lost any weight, but she's only gained. So I figured we'll take a look at her, what I eat in a day. Obviously this is not necessarily gonna be a f a f an accurate description of what she does. She may or may not eat like this. She may eat differently off camera. Maybe we can identify some places where she can make improvements in terms of like diet choices and you know, we have more success in the, the fat loss field. So before we get into that, quickly, in the video I did yesterday about Jen Peach, I was hypothesizing in the video yesterday by Jen Peach that maybe because of the fact that she's um, she's allegedly recovered from anorexia that perhaps that's why she has like a different metabolism and she's able to eat more calories. Now, one of my subscribers, one of my viewers, I wanna say cats and dogs, but I can't remember your name, sorry. They actually linked a really interesting article, which I'll link in the description if I remember, where basically it's actually quite common that, it's not common, but it can happen that we'll recover from an eating disorder, especially anorexia, that they get hypothyroidism. And I was reading through the article and it's not, un it's not uncommon for people that are recovering to eat between five to 10,000 calories a day to gain a kilo a week. Um, however, this usually only happens for a certain period of time. And then obviously metabolic adaptation will happen and then they'll have to start cutting calories again. But this is not, it's not abnormal, it does happen. Um, however, from what I understand, the problem that lays with uh, Jen Peach is that basically she is a coach, right? And that uh, just because you have an eating disorder doesn't mean you can't be a good coach. But usually speaking, people come to you because they like your aesthetic. People come to me because they like the way I look. I'm fairly healthy, I'm muscular. You can argue whether that's healthy or not, but that's a different thing. She is, if you see her TikTok, she's very, 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 very malnourished looking. Worryingly so. So for one of all, I don't think it's right for her to say that she's fully recovered because she clearly isn't. She is in recovery still at least, but she's not fully recovered because she would have at least a healthy level of body fat. Um, I know people are naturally slender. Trust me, I'm in Bulgaria, everybody's slender here. People are naturally slender. There is a big difference. You can always tell if somebody potentially has had some sort of eating disorder. It's just a look. If you've, if you've been around people like that, you know what I mean. Uh, so that's the problem. They said that, that she disclaims that she is recovered when clearly she still has quite a lot of work left to do. And I hope she does recover, but she's not there yet. And second of all, it's concerning because the people that will go to her are more likely than not gonna go to her because they think they can eat all this food and probably stay very slender, right? I'm not saying all of it. I'm not saying she's a bad coach. She may not even practice this or preach this to her clients just because it's, for example, you can be an obese personal trainer, but you could still know how to train people. Just not applying it to yourself. So that could well be the case with Jen, that she actually has all the knowledge. She's just not applying it to herself, but she does to other people. It's just, we don't know. However, it is concerning because usually you, I don't know, I go to trainers who's, look I like, whose um, training methods I like, whose philosophy on life I like. So that's just somewhat concerning. But regardless, let's get into this video. <sighs> Let me start screen recording. All right, it starts off already with a disclaimer. I make these videos for people also on Weight Watchers program, people looking for food ideas. I kindly ask anyone here to simply criticize my diet and food choices to exit this video. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. We are gonna, we are gonna watch this video. I have actually done Weight Watchers. I didn't mind it too much. The calories were very low for me, what they gave me. They gave me like 1500 calories worth in total, which is obviously far too low for somebody like myself. 
But um, yeah, I didn't mind it. I like the app. You get lots of recipe ideas. I don't like how some things are incredibly high in calories, like fats. They, you get really penalized for eating fats. But then, you know, certain things are like zero points. So it's, it's like, it's a bit weird, but if it, if it helps you lose weight, great. So this is what works for me and my personal goals. I don't know how long she's been on this weight loss journey. Actually, I have her Instagram up here. Let's go to her first ever post. So we have a picture here. June 16, 2020. Is that how long she's been? I wonder. She's been on YouTube for a long time. Let's sort it by oldest. Oh, she's done YouTube for a long time. Oh my God, look how slender she was back then. She's done YouTube for many, many years. Very pretty lady. She still is, she still, she still is very pretty by the way. I think you still can be beautiful and be a bigger person. I can't really tell when she is starting her supposed weight loss journey. So I guess if we're looking at her Instagram here, it's pretty well balanced. There is some cheat foods, there are some healthy foods, there are some naughtier things, some better things. You know, it's a bit of everything. Well, it's a lot of beige to be fair. From what I've seen so far, a lot of bread, a lot of carbs. But there's Weight Watchers though. Weight Watchers is really high carb. Yeah, so it doesn't seem, at least for the last year or so, it doesn't seem like she's lost any weight. Which is, you know, if she thinks that something is working for her, then maybe it's not, if you've not really lost any weight in a whole year. Um, I know that weight loss can be slow, and I do advise slow weight loss, but losing like five pounds on a year is, yeah, that's something. Something's wrong with what you're doing. Your approach to your method is obviously not working for you. I don't know how much weight she's lost, but it doesn't look like anything. So, is she part of fat acceptance and body positivity and health at every size, or is she not part of it because she is trying to lose weight? It's kind of... These lines get skewed sometimes. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Today I'm doing one of everyone's favorite videos that I've been getting lots of requests to do more of. Don't mind my morning voice. I do like doing what I eat in a day as well. I do them quite a bit because, I don't know, it's just interesting to show people what I do, right? So if you're interested to see what I eat, I do them all the time. Most of my vlogs are basically me cooking and eating. It is currently 8.15. I am making- and If you watch me, you'll see that all I eat is like plain chicken and plain block- I can't say broccoli to save my life. Broccoli. Nothing exciting whatsoever. I never eat baklavas and I never eat banitsa. Mm-mm. Making myself some breakfast. So if you guys are new here or if you don't know, I am on the WW Blue program. I won't go into my long spiel of- So she does Weight Watchers Blue. On Weight Watchers- Weight- Sorry, I keep tripping over my words. Over my tongue. Weight Watchers Blue means that there is around 200 fruits, uh, vegetables, lean proteins, eggs, legumes, non-fat and dairy that are zero points. This is concerning because nothing is zero points. Foods are not, no, foods do not, not have calories. I understand the principles of encouraging people to make these healthy choices instead of eating something bad, but if you just have whole portions, if you just have throughout the day, say, five, six times a serving of zero calorie, zero point chicken, those, that is potentially, you're eating 500 extra calories. I think you're looking at like 100 grams, I think, or something, like, it's like three or four ounces or something like that. Maybe it's two or three ounces, regardless. So if it's like two or three ounces, or three or four ounces, you're looking anywhere between 50 to 100 calories of potentially chicken breast. Now, if you eat that five, six times a day, as well as your actual points, you're gonna be overeating. But I don't think people do it. Like most people when they're hungry, they don't fancy eating some plain chicken. They want to eat chicken with some mayonnaise on top or maybe chicken with some um, like sweet potato or something on the side. But then like your sweet potato zero and then your chicken is zero. Doesn't mean like a whole meal is zero, but you're eating 700 calories. So I don't really get it. Um, I have currently lost almost 40 pounds over the last like 10 months. And has she? So why are people saying that she hasn't lost any weight if she's lost apparently 40 pounds? Or is that just what she's saying? Because 40 pounds is pretty good. Like, that's commendable. Especially if she's able to just keep it off as well. Losing 40 pounds. Could she at her size have lost more? Yeah, people can always do better. Most people can always do better. But, you know, 40 pounds is, over a six month period is a very steady weight loss. So, that's good.
So first, I I love pre-cut fruit. I do. <laughs> I know I know it's a little bit pricier, but I just like there's something about pre-cut like a fruit salad. But I would also I wouldn't recommend somebody to eat just fruit for breakfast. Um, you do want to try and maybe get some protein in there just for satiation, because fruit's just it's just gonna go it's gonna go straight through you in terms of it, it's high fiber, so it probably will go straight through you. And on top of that, it's just not really filling unless you do a freely and you eat like 15 bananas, but I, I wouldn't recommend that either. Definitely recommend like buying a bunch of different fruit and like right when you get home from the grocery store, cut it all up and prep it, put it in some Tupperware, pop it in the fridge and like, there's just something so delightful <laughs> about a fruit salad. You know what I mean? It's just more enjoyable when it's all cut up and ready to go. And I feel like you're more inclined. I do think I do agree with you on that. It is nice to have pre-cut fr pre fruit salads to eat more like fruits and veggies if they're like in the front of your refrigerator already cut up so i have some fruit salad here i'm not all a massive fruit eater to be honest uh not because like carbs are bad but i'm just doesn't do a lot to me i like i like frozen berries or berries in general i can be partial to a um a melon sometimes they're quite nice don't really care an awful lot for apples don't mind them pears are quite nice but rarely eat them I don't know, I'm just not a massive fruit person. They're nice, but I could leave. I, like, my life is fine without fruit. Although, when I do keto and I'm in prep, the thought of a juicy cold apple, oh, amazing. But otherwise, if I'm not in prep, I'm just like, meh. I do, I do eat fruit, though. Usually speaking, I probably have, like, a serving of fruit a day. Something like that. Not every day, but most days. I have these in the microwave. I just started getting into this brand called Veggies Made Great. And one huge tip I will say, if you're like looking for good WW recipes, follow a bunch of people on Instagram. I even follow some on TikTok. And I feel like I'm always finding these new brands and ideas. And I'm surprised, I'm, well, not surprised, but I'm kind of sad to see that she's not gonna cook the frittata herself because when I did the Weight Watchers for a few days, I'll be sure to link it down below. I What I actually really liked about the app is that any ingredients you have or any yeah any ingredients you have you just type it in and whether you want it i think you can even filter it to like breakfast lunch or dinner or whatever and it will just give you so many different recipes that are super easy to follow and it will give you like a difficulty rating it gives you a time but but basically it just allows you to eat, follow pretty easy recipes um i don't know what she does for a living but most people do have the time to spend like 20 minutes cooking something. I assume her job is to be on Instagram or to be a social media influencer. So I don't know. I don't know how much of this processed food she eats. But obviously if you're trying to lose weight, just try and eat, cook more of your own food. At least you know what goes into it. The calories are never going to be 100% accurate on packaging. Um, on top of that, you don't know how much sodium they're using. If you're one day really high sodium and one day really low sodium, you're going to hold water. Your water, your water retention is going to be all over. So it's just better to cook yourself so you know what goes into it and obviously there's less preservatives and things like that. Plus cooking is fun. I think so anyway, I love cooking. And hacks that I had no idea. Like there are so many hacks, so it's awesome. And this brand here is called Veggies. I know she's doing points, but it'd be interesting to see how the points measure up to the calories. When I did Weight Watchers, it actually worked out right because I believe a point is around 50 calories, something like that. Brand here is called Veggies Made Great, and they're um, veggie bacon and potato frittatas with plant-based bacon. It has cheddar cheese. It's kind of a similar vibe, actually, to the Starbucks egg bites. Let me show you guys. The plate is super hot, but this is just estimates. But uh, it comes down to around 380 calories, 66 grams of carbs, nine grams of fat, 12 grams of protein. I think she would be feel more satiated if she had more protein or at least some lean protein maybe like some egg whites on the side maybe some yogurt on the side maybe some like tofu or something like that just something else i think that would help her with satiation but she may add something else so let's keep an eye this is what they look like keep an eye <laughs> let's keep looking don't they kind of look like Words are really hard today, guys. I don't know what's up. I don't know if it's because I trained for about an hour and 40 pretty intense legs this morning. I finally got back up to a 100 kilo squat, 220 pounds. I did three sets of two reps. Depth, ass to grass all the way. It was really deep, lovely squat. 
But it's been a while since I've done 100 kilos, so I worked my way up and then I kind of came down. I did some hack squats, three legged deadlifts, leg curls. Oh, I, I put myself through the ringer this morning, it was great, but um, I, I don't know. But I think my I've just kind of burned my CNS out and my, my brain doesn't really know what's going on, so I apologize if not if I'm if my English is worse than usual today. The, um, <laughs> like the ones from Starbucks. And y'all know I love me some bacon egg bites, but um, these have two points each. And then my... All right, so the fruit salad doesn't count for any points. That's interesting because obviously there's going to be calories in that. Quite a lot, not a lot, a lot, but there's going to be at least 150, 200 calories in there. So unless she's been put, for example, put on a caloric deficit of where she's only eating 1500 calories a day and she, it gives her the leeway to maybe eat another five, 600 calories and still be in a deficit, that makes sense. But I don't know, I, obviously I don't know how many points she's on, but we'll find out maybe by the end of the day. And uh, then we'll go from there and maybe work out the, the deficit that she should be in. My fruit is zero points, so it would be four points for this breakfast. I'm not being funny, but that wouldn't fill me up at all. Those little egg bites, I would rather have like two or three whole eggs rather than those egg bites because they wouldn't fill me up whatsoever. But they do usually, I mean, on blue, they say that it doesn't, uh, that eggs don't have, the eggs are zero points. But when you do non, when you do the normal Weight Watchers, like eggs are really, there are a lot of points because I remember I made this dish. It was uh, really nice, by the way, but uh, it was like a, kind of like a shakshuka. And uh, it literally had like one or two eggs in it and it was 10 points. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's literally like a third of my daily allowance gone. So. All right, y'all, I am back. It is lunchtime. It is she eats a lot of processed food, eh? Is this what she does all the time? So it's processed food whilst you may be in a caloric deficit and whilst it can help you lose weight and sometimes the goal is to just lose weight like nutrient like calories matter and calories in calories out is a thing and it is applicable to most people trying to lose fat well, i understand there is differences there's genetics there is underlying health conditions there's a lot more to it it's not necessarily that black and white but in in essence energy balance it's applicable to many people right calories matter Nutrition matters too, especially on how you're going to feel. If I eat a lot of processed food, I, I do feel gross. Um, I do feel like it does prevent my, my fat loss. So again, that's why I say if you're trying to lose weight, like obviously if now and again you need to eat out, if you have, a, have to have a microwave meal, that's fine. It's a lifestyle. It's all about, in general, you make good choices. So, But sometimes you have to resort to quick alternatives, right? Just try and cook food, like literally try and cook your food yourself. And you'll be surprised by A, how much you can eat in terms of quantities and B, how much weight you lose. Like I'm saying with the, with the Phoenix Rising that I'm doing now is I've a lot of calories out and um, people are just eating whole foods. And it's not even super strict where it's like, oh, you can only have like a hundred grams. It's strict in terms of like, I recommend weights or foods, but there's a lot of different foods to pick from. So there is no restriction in terms of there is restriction because you're eating whole foods, but there is choices. There's a lot of choices within it. And people are eating enormous quantities of food and still losing a lot of weight. So, I don't know, just whole foods is the way forward. It's currently 12.20 and I'm about to whip up some lunch. So, for lunch today, I'm gonna be having one of my favorite meals. It used to be kind of like a guilty pleasure, so I love that I can make it. I'm gonna speed her up slightly, guys. She's uh, talking a bit slow. I think fast. If you want to see it at regular speed, then I would suggest go to her channel. I'll be linking this video down below. These hot dogs are only one smart point. So they are 97% fat free um, and they are beef, not turkey. These are the lowest point hot dogs I've been able to find. And I really like them too. So this one here is actually zero points. It's only 10 calories a serving. See, this is interesting, isn't it? Like, she's eating, I wonder if this is why her weight loss is really slow, because she's eating a lot of things that are technically zero points per the recommendations of Weight Watchers, but all of these zero point things, they do add up. But we'll keep, I'll we'll keep a, a mental track of what's zero points, so we can see actually how many zero points foods that she's eaten and how many calories that actually is. And then I'm gonna do some fat-free cheddar. This is like my holy grail <laughs> in WW. I love this fat-free cheddar, fat-free mozzarella. It's zero points for up to a quarter cup and then it goes up into points. And then- Quarter cup is zero, zero points. Jesus Christ. And 
finding like a good low point bun can be tricky. Uh, these are some of the lowest ones I can find. They are three points each. I'm gonna be making carrot chips. Um, I love like a good, we're gonna air fry them up, baby. You already know. So you can do up to eight sprays of this for zero points. Does she eat nothing but zero point food? I, I think I'm starting to understand the controversy here is that she literally puts whole meals together, together, together that are all zero points. But it doesn't, it doesn't work like that though. Weight loss doesn't work like that. So I've literally just added in the, the ingredients without even seeing her portion sizes, just so I have them there. So it's probably like one of everything. And that's already coming down to 300 calories, almost. That's just one of everything. That's not even the actual portions of the things that she's using. So I'll be interested to see. So she's gonna have like portions of everything and then basically only count the buns and the frankfurters and be like, oh, I've only used like five points but the reality is she's eating like 600 to 700 calories um so i did eight sprays and then we're gonna go in with seasoning i found this recipe recently for like garlic parmesan red pepper flake ones that are kind of like although i have to say i do like the idea of doing like carrot chips it sounds really nice better than eating if you're gonna have a deep fried it's probably about to be honest if you're gonna like air fry it you might as well have like potato ones i guess but i'm i'm not sure if the potato ones will go nice and crispy in the air fryer. I'm gonna do some reduced fat grated parmesan. Each tablespoon has one point. This will be a quick video, she said. I was wrong. They're not like overcrowded because you want them to get crispy. And I'm gonna do them on 350 for like 15. Do you know what? I I had an air fryer once and I didn't like it, but I think it's because it was a cheap one and it didn't really work properly. Has anybody got a recommendation on like a really good air fryer that makes things like actually fried rather than just it being a little bit hotter than an oven and giving the same results because I was disappointed every time I tried to make sweet potato fries and stuff like that it was just like oven roasts like no I want that fried that crispy feel so recommendations on good air fries comment down below because I might do um I might buy one because I want one anyway and then maybe just do a recipe do a day of filming where I do like viral air fryer recipes on my second channel. This is a great hack as well for like a grilled cheese or any sandwich in the fry pan. So, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Up to 20 sprays for zero points. I can't believe that. Is she literally, I'm so curious to see what my calories are gonna come down to and what her points are. There are our chili dogs. There's our carrot chips. They get nice and crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, super yummy. As I said, I have not yet tried this flavor of carrot chip. So I'm gonna try it and let y'all know. Okay, so I believe she, did she say that was 10 points? So basically what I have here from everything she's added into it is 484 calories, 63 grams of carbs, nine fat, 39 grams of protein. Actually the macros aren't bad. The salt is through the roof, 1800 grams of sodium. That's a lot. It's around 300 grams, uh, 3,000 3, grams is recommended for your daily intake. Um, it's less calories than I thought it would be, so it probably is around the same. She said it was 10 points. Um, I think that was in the beginning, then 50, 50 times 10 is 500, so. All right, y'all. Sorry for the wonky lighting. It is dinner time. I also... I don't think she used the word wonky correctly there, but that's okay. <laughs> I have some of these pre-cut chicken strips that are already cooked um, for zero points chicken. I'll do a few spritzes of the avocado oil spray. Get the chicken warmed up first, kind of brown the edges a bit. It hasn't got a lot of chicken in there. I reckon for maybe a hundred grams. And it kind of creates like a sauce and then this flavor kind of cooks in with the peppers and onions. I just love the smell of like grilled veggies. They smell so good. If these chickens are already cooked, this is just like observing from the perspective of somebody that likes to cook. You all, all you have to do is heat it through. So what I would probably do is maybe like fry off my veggies and my onion first so they can soften down a little bit if you want it soft, unless you want it crunchy. But I would add in the chicken afterwards because that's going to get overcooked and chewy otherwise. It may not because it's like processed chicken, but um, yeah, that's what I would do. Just add in my chicken afterwards if it's already pre-cooked. Then for the wraps, I am using one that you guys already know we talk about all the time, the Olay Wellness Wraps. It's so hard to get stuff like this in Bulgaria. Actually, yesterday I did place an order with an online company that does like the zero carb pastas and stuff like that. So I've been to see when that comes. I've got some pizza bases will be interesting, like a uh, like protein pizza base. So I've been to see what, to see what they are like. And I got some of that um, these new energy drinks, like the three the three. What are they like? I want to say three M, but they're not three M or three G, but it's something like that. They're very plain, like a very plain ta tin can, very plain can. And it's got like all of these funky flavors, so I ordered some of them. 
much the Evo is this May, but I want to spend some money on things, guys. I don't spend money on anything except for food dropping. And this is zero points. Interesting. And a huge hack. I love putting sour cream on these kind of things, so I replace with Giovanni plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I use this for so much. My two-ingredient pizza dough for ranch dip. It's zero points. It's super nutritious. I really like those sort of yogurts as well. They're very filling. I like to mix stuff like that with protein powder because it's nice and, and gives you like a filling of a dessert when it's not really dessert. But yeah, indeed, if you're trying to cut out calories, replace your like mayonnaises and your sour cream with yogurt is a very good hack indeed. It gets, has protein in it as well and zero fat. And instead of doing fat-free cheese, I'm gonna do some of this reduced fat Mexican blend and voila. So actually, that is a pretty good meal. I I would eat something like that. It's something I would recommend for my clients. It's 410 calories, 24 grams of carbs, which is not bad. 17 grams of fat, so it's a bit higher in fat, but again, not super bad. And um, 35 grams of protein, so it's really high protein. I like to see that. I'm just gonna have a little dessert. So in my last video, I it was just a vlog, I made this WW um, lemon cake. Looks pretty yummy, to be honest, eh? Like, lemon tea cake. I was going for the same vibe as the one from Starbucks, because that's my favorite. And guys, it came out so good. It's definitely not, like, pretty. <laughs> but it is so good. Yara tried it. I tried a little piece. I don't know how to calculate the points for that, so I guess I'll just put, like, in, like, a lemon cake. That one was really good. Okay, so I don't know how to add that. I guess I'll just do it half the calories of the, the Starbucks one. So... Or like a quarter of the calories? Because you're saying you're six points. So that's a difficult one. I'll do a quarter of the calories. Oh yeah, 70 grams of carbs. Sounds about right. That sounds about right. Anyway, that's what I ate today on WW Blue. So hopefully you got some ideas. And if you want me to do more of these with some of my go-tos, <laughs> let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. If you guys like to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. So I don't know how many points she ate. I think it was... 10 points for lunch, 5 points for dinner, 5 points for dinner, 4 points for dinner, 4 points for breakfast, 6 points for this. So, so around 25, I think around 25 points, right? Now this day of eating comes down to around 1400 calories, 170 grams of carbs, 41 grams of fat, 87 grams of protein. So actually the calories do tie up kind of the same way. So she's eating around 1200 calories in points, 1250 calories. I worked out my calories here and it came down to 1400 so there's a little bit of a discrepancy. That is very little calories for somebody who is morbidly obese. I don't think that it's necessarily sustainable for her to eat that little. Uh, the food looked really great, don't get me wrong. I would like to see more protein in there, for sure. I don't know if this is what she normally shows, but if she on the regular eats like 1200 calories a day, don't know if she's had like a bypass or anything like that. If she hasn't had a gastric bypass and she claims to eat around 1200 calories a day, she's not, she's eating more than that because she would lose more weight. That's just how that works. Especially as somebody that does a lot of exercising too. So it could just be that it's a one-off. Maybe she's doing more of an intuitive approach. Sometimes I eat more, sometimes I eat less. It just depends on how I'm feeling and all of that. So maybe that's why it just happened to be a low calorie day. But yeah, it was interesting to see that at the end, tallying everything together, despite the fact that she used a lot of zero point hacks, actually the calories kind of worked out to be the same. Maybe there is a logic to the whole to the zero point approach. Um, I mean, like personally, I'm not a fan of it because of the fact that foods are not zero calories. If it helps people to be experiment more in the kitchen and um, make better choices, and it helps them lose weight, great. I'm all for that. The only thing I would say is that she eats a lot of processed food. I don't know what she does for a living, but cooking up like chicken breasts and cutting that up doesn't take a lot of time. Just get a kilo of chicken, stick it in the oven, and then get it out after about half an hour, and you have like several days worth of chicken. There is, um, I understand the Frankfurters, but there is a lot of quick, easy recipes, which is fine if you're on a time crunch. If you're busy, I get it, but at the same time, I would, I would hope that, usually speaking, her days of eating are not as processed. And I think if she eat, ate more whole foods, um, she will probably be more successful in weight loss as well. So, anyway, 
I guess that's it. Um, let me know if you want me to do more videos about her, if there's any videos that are worth me looking at, because I just picked the one I eat in a day, because that's kind of what I like doing, to be honest. I think they're the most fun to do. I like to do the calorie counting. I say that. No, I actually do like doing the calorie counting. I do find it interesting to see what it all comes down to. I think it's very informative for you guys as well. So on that note, actually, thanks a lot for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video, if you dislike the video, let me know down below why. Insert a calculator emoji, why not? The scales, like the weighing scales, that's fine too. Scales, calculator, anything, any tool of measurement. Insert that. And yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.